What is up guys? If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. And if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I make content about fitness, spirituality, self-development, and try on hauls. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys join the fam. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you guys follow me on MacWatFit. Today is Friday, August 26th. Now I'm about to go hit just a full glute day. I recently switched my split to three leg days a week. So I'm doing quads and glutes on Monday, hamstring and glutes on Wednesday, and then Friday is just my glute focus day. I did not plan to film at all today. It's crazy because my last video that I posted, the hamstring and glute day, that was also a spontaneous idea. Like I randomly just had the idea to start filming and I try to take advantage of my very high energy days and I always get a random idea to just film. I'm gonna take you guys with me on my first full glute day in a while. So like I said, I've been doing two leg days a week and now I'm on three leg days and this is a specific glute focused workout. Very excited to be on three leg days a week. I just want the muscle mass and my quads and glutes to come back. Last year I was power lifting and I was lifting three days a week and that's when I noticed the biggest difference in my strength and my muscle size so i really want to work on trying to get that back yeah guys so i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna take you guys along and i'll see you guys in the next clip i know i said i'm gonna see you guys in the next clip and it's supposed to be me at the gym but i have my ring light on right now because it's getting dark and i look shredded as fuck like i don't know if it's picking it up on the camera this looks fire look at my quad i haven't even done legs yet today and this shit's popping off all right but for real now i'm gonna take you guys to the gym Luckily, no one is actually in the gym, so I can actually vlog a little bit. When I made it to the gym, I just had to film in front of this because y'all already know I love the chakras and meditation. I think it's so cool that they have this here. But anyway, we're gonna be starting off with hip thrust. I'm actually gonna get my phone real quick. I left another room. I'm gonna show you guys the full workout for today. I forgot to charge my camera. It's literally gonna die soon. I hope we can get through the whole workout. But we're gonna be doing four sets of hip thrusts. I always start out with a compound movement. Since this is a full glute day, the ultimate booty building exercise is hip thrust because it's the one exercise where you can load the most weight in your glutes. So we have hip thrust, we have sumo squat. So I'm doing this because I really wanna work on my inner thighs. So if you guys want an inner thigh workout, this is perfect for your inner thighs and also focuses on your glutes, but it's mainly for your inner thighs. And then we have the glute focus back extension. I can't do this exercise at the apartment gym because they don't have this exercise. I'm gonna replace that with something else just for today. And then we have the glute focus step up. This focuses on your lower glute and your quads a bit. And then we have the cable glute kickback. So I'm gonna set up for hip thrust and show you guys exactly how I set up. A lot of people ask me questions and I made a TikTok on it before, but the TikTok is kind of outdated. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up and then we're gonna go into the voiceover now. For today's workout, we're gonna be setting up the bench for the hip thrust. So you guys wanna take that yellow part and as you're pulling it out, you also wanna have your hand on the top of the bench so it goes down. I know that might already be self-explanatory, but I just wanna tell you guys every single step because I remember being in the gym and not knowing how to do anything. So even the smallest detail like that would give me anxiety and make me not wanna do something. If you need to move the bench like I did, just make sure you guys grab that handlebar and then the wheels are gonna help you move it. My starting weight for the hip thrust is going to be 45 on each side, so I suggest that you guys just roll it or you can pick it up. If you're a beginner, I suggest rolling it if you can just because it's going to make it way easier to hold it up. Also, it's a workout itself just putting on that damn weight. I highly recommend that you guys get your own padding from Amazon just because it's very convenient to have it next to you at all times, but the gyms usually do supply it. I just highly recommend having your own. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to sit down and then you're going to put the padding on the bar. And a trick that I do to keep the padding on like very tight is take your thighs and kind of just push it up and that'll keep it on really tight. To perform the hip thrust, you guys need to make sure that the bench is right below your shoulder blades. I actually filmed another angle, so I'm going to mention this again once I show you guys that angle. Something really important to keep note of is you guys need to make sure that your foot placement is even and you need to make sure that it's locked in place before you start the movement. A lot of people make the mistake of adjusting their feet during the movement, so just make sure you guys don't do that and you guys will stay safe. Once your feet are even and you're ready to go, you're just gonna thrust up and try to hold it for one to two seconds and really squeeze your glutes at the top to get the most out of the exercise. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys that other angle just so you can see what I'm talking about with the back. So when you guys are doing the barbell hip thrust, you wanna make sure that it's right below your shoulder blades. So just try to observe how I'm lifting up the weight. So right now it's right below my shoulder blades and I use my elbows to help me get the weight up. The second exercise is gonna be the sumo squat. So I like to do this exercise mainly for my inner thighs. This is a really good exercise to focus in that area. This exercise is pretty simple. You guys wanna make sure that both of your hands are on the dumbbell and you also wanna make sure that you have a wide stance. I also filmed another angle just for you guys to get a feel on how it looks from the front. The only other cue I want you guys to remember for this exercise 
is you need to keep your upper back straight. So think about that the whole entire time while you're performing the movement because you definitely don't want to arch that upper back. The third exercise was supposed to be those back extensions, but since my apartment gym doesn't have that machine, instead I decided to do the B stance RDL. I honestly haven't done this exercise in a very long time, so my form is like a bit rusty. This was literally my first set that I filmed, but for this exercise, it's going to put a big emphasis on your hamstrings and your glutes. So all you're going to do is the working foot, you're going to slightly bend that knee, and you guys are going to slowly go down and go down until your back is straight. When performing this movement, you want to make sure that the non-working leg, which is the left leg in this case, is slightly bent with the toes. Make sure to keep your core tight and also make sure that you guys keep the dumbbell as close as you can to your body because that's one of the biggest mistakes I see people making is they put it way further out of their body and that's out of their range of motion. You can cause yourself lower back pain if you're going out of your range of motion so make sure you guys pretend that dumbbell is literally glued to your leg. Once you're done with that leg, you guys can like rest for a few seconds or you can just go straight into the next leg. So this one, as you guys can see, it took me like a while to get adjusted because I haven't done this exercise in a while. And honestly, even if you have done this exercise, it still takes time to really get the movement correct. All right, so the next exercise is gonna be the glute bias step ups. This also focuses on your quads, but it puts a big emphasis on your lower glutes too. You guys can use a bench just like I did for the hip thrust. You guys can use that same bench or you guys can use what I'm using, which is the steps. But you guys gotta make sure that you build it up tall enough because if it's too low, you're not really gonna get anything out of the movement. So make sure that it's tall. As you guys saw, it was a bit too low, so I just added one more on each side. So now we're ready to start the movement. This exercise is a single leg movement. Single leg movements help with imbalances and it's really gonna improve your balance. So I suggest that you guys don't use any dumbbells at all. Make sure you get your form down and also maybe put it against the wall so you guys can hold the wall at first because I don't want you guys to fall. Definitely don't feel discouraged if you guys have to stop for a second and readjust because like I said, this exercise really helps with your balance and it's not going to be easy at first. So for this movement, as you guys see, I'm slightly bent forward so I focus more on my glutes. You're going to take your working foot and slightly step up on the bench. And the non-working foot, you guys want to make sure that the toes are tapping the ground. For me, it's kind of hard still because it's hard to keep that balance. So it's completely fine if you guys can't tap your toes yet. When you just tap your toes, that's putting more of an emphasis on your glutes and you'll really feel it in your glutes. But like I said, it's very hard to keep balance, so just do what you can. And try to do this movement as slow as you can too, because that's really going to help too. The last exercise on my glute day is glute medius kickbacks. When you're setting up the glute medius kickback, the adjusting thing is literally the same thing as when we did the hip thrust. So you're just going to take that yellow thing, pull it out, and then bring it all the way down to the bottom. The next step is putting the ankle cable straps. I got these from Amazon, I suggest you guys get them too because honestly gyms do not supply this one. So definitely get on Amazon and you're going to put it around your ankle. You're going to want to take your foot and slightly turn it out and this is going to focus on that glute medius. So make sure it's turned out and slow and controlled kick up. You guys don't want to kick up too too far because it's going to hurt your lower back. So slow and controlled. You're going to want to stand a bit more upright if you're doing the glute medius way just because there's no reason to stand all the way out and you guys don't want to kick up too high. Also, glute medius is the upper glute, so if you guys don't know what that term glute medius is, that just means your upper glute. Okay guys, I'm dying and my camera is about to die any second, so I'm going to do my outro now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys comment below and let me know what you guys want to see next. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.